2018 the Priador Sojuro 900 review. The 2018 the Priador Sojuro 900 is the next evolutionary step of the Noah based brand revered who live in machine. First hitting the street 10 years ago, the Door Sojuro has been a staple in every of lineup for some time. With its highly agile character and powerful V twin engine, the Door Sojuro satisfies even the more brave thrill seeking supermoto riders. This year, the Door Sojuro received several updates from electronic suspension and a shiny new power plant. The 2018 The Pretty Door Sojuro 900 is ready to make short work of your commute, whip around your favorite canyon roads, or take on the local track. Turn on the bright lights the new 891CCV twin is the star of the show. The 2018 The Pretty Door Sojuro 900S school stop with urgency, adding to the rambunctious nature of the entire package. Due to its relatively short gearing, its tractable engine builds power rapidly and predictably. With flawless fuel link and throttle response, you'll be hard pressed not to use the entire rev range while romping around your favorite hot dot performance, reliability, and comfort are the name of the game with Aprilia's redesigned V-Twin. The Door Sojuro received new fuel injectors to allow greater control over fuel link. Internally, the piston received an anti friction coating as well as a decrease in its weight. A semi-drive drive crank case with reed valves reduces power loss from oil sumps. Also, the crank assembly was rebalanced and the stroke was increased to 67.4 mm, though it is still decidedly over square. Even at the bitter end of the engine's limits, it remains responsive and smooth. The Door Sojuro 900 enters the modern age with a reasonable electronic suite. Equipped with three levels of traction control and a channel continental ABS, the Door Sojuro 900 does a commendable job of offering a helping hand. These updates are facilitated by the addition of the St. Marelli ECU found in the top spec RSV4 M2 Ono. Oh, there are three riding modes to choose from. The Sport and Turing modes have the same 95 horsepower output, with the Turing mode damping the throttle response. The Rain mode drops the bike down to 70 horses and slows down the throttle response considerably. I used sport mode for most riding and found it flawless. Dot Supermoto is synonymous with agility and the 2018 The Priador Sojuro 900 doesn't disappoint. Featuring a nearly 60-inch wheel base and 26 degrees brake, you may expect the Door Sojuro to be a bit staid and it would be if this were a lower slung sport bike. Due to its high center of gravity, I found that the Door Sojuro's weight could be shifted easily. At lower speeds, any minor input will get you pointed in the right direction. When out in the twisties, it takes little effort to get the Door Sojuro 900 barely into a corner or better yet, when transitioning from side to side. Proper body positioning is essential on the Door Sojuro. If you get up on the tank, you are rewarded with greater feeling from the front end as you push harder. However, feedback can be a bit vague if you are not positioned correctly. Get your weight back too far and really will result. The Door Sojuro gets semi adjustable suspension this year. Although the 41mm JYD inverted fork and non vintage sack shock have spring preload and rebound damping adjustments, they do lack the ability to alter the compression damping dog baseline settings edge towards the sportier side of riding. Fortunately, they are completely comfortable on roughed up urban roads, what we'd expect from a supermoto bike. Under hard braking, the 6.7-inch travel fork holds its own, and the sack shock keeps the bike stable when hard on the gas during corner exits. Aggressive riders will most likely want to slow the rebound, as the chassis can get a little loose over big VIPs at high speed. For the average pilot, they'll just be moving through the canyons. The trellis chassis remains relatively unchanged and that's not a bad thing. Although there were updates to the trellis frame to house the new motor, the basic geometry numbers are remarkably similar to the previous edition. There are few things holding the Door Sojuro 900 back, and in most cases, it's probably the rider. This thing is highly maneuverable and, once you find your group, it'll be becoming the key until the next ride, which are currently next to my keyboard. Other wheels now adorn the Door Sojuro 900. Equipped with 17-inch alloy wheels, the total weight savings is roughly 5 pounds of unspunk weight. Keeping the shiny side of our Dunlop Sportmax qualifier tires a few generations back from the latest Q3 Plus offering a good amount of grip for the street dot braking power when you need it most. Using Aprilia branded for piston calipers.
in conjunction with steel braided lines and dual 320mm rotors, you can expect more than adequate stopping power. Feel at the lever is positive, allowing for good modulation, especially when trail braking. The same can be said of the rear brake, which I use to tighten up lines every now and again. Both brakes lack the harsh initial bite, making them user-friendly. To get the more, squeeze a bit more no issue there. You will be able to get a good amount of riding in with a 3.2 gallon tank. Filled to the brim, you'll be able to run a few hot laps around the city and canyons to freely of estimates fuel consumption of 44 miles per gallon. We should also note that the curve weight of the Dorso Euro 900 is a claim 467 pounds, so it could use a bit of a diet. The TFT display keeps everything in sight. Now featuring the full color, TFT display, the Dorso Euro's menu system is simple and easy to navigate. This is a huge leap above previous generations. The dash remains visible in direct sunlight and doesn't distract. You will sit on high and judge the great unwash aboard the Dorso Euro 900. That might be a bit dramatic, but the seat height is 34.3 inches. With my 32 inch inseam, I have my only that balls of my feet on the ground for stability at a stop. However, once moving, you can make use of the long seating position to shift around as you'd like. While that's fine and dandy for sports riding, it's quite handy when dealing with traffic. You have a nice vantage point to finally read what people are texting while driving. The bottom line is that the 2018 Capriya Dorso Euro 900 is an absolute blast. With a nice refresh to the platform, the Dorso Euro offers an aggressive yet light-hearted experience. This bike should be paired with friends and a good set of canyon roads or a track, but don't let it stop you from getting the front-end light on the way to the office.